Hi, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Friday, March 29th, 2019. Today I'm doing a very simple, quick source inspection of a Semi-Tool ST260. This system was sent in for a refurbishment program from one of our customers. Uh, for the privacy of our customers, we do not give their names out on our videos. However, their purchase order is ME17325. Uh, besides our normal refurbishment program, we did uh, a few parts upgrades that the customer requested. We replaced the Humphrey valves down here uh, with the new SMC state-of-the-art bank, so they have the newest technology. We put a new 8 PSI switch on, a new 20 PSI switch. We replaced some of the plastic elbows with stainless steel, and we added an overtemp on their N2 uh, manifold, which was not there. One of the reasons this came in is it overheated dramatically, and that might have been because there was no overtemp on their current manifold. Uh, we did go through our complete remanufacturing process, which I won't talk about now because it's on our videos and multiple um, videos on YouTube. But it's gone through a complete remanufacturing process, complete burn-in test, and ready to go. So what I just want to do is simply show you that it's running well. There's your load of cassette wafers, and hit start. Uh, this, the, the customer's controller had an issue, but they opted to uh, not have us repair it. They said they have extra controllers at their site. So we have a SciTech controller on there now. Uh, this demo is only with four inch wafers. Uh, we had made a, a slight mistake, uh, which the customer will appreciate, is that we forgot to put on their um, uh, evaluation form that their six inch rotor was out of balance, which we would consider out of balance. So it's being uh, rebalanced right now, free of charge, part of this transaction. So now we're in the dry cycle. As you can see, the heater's on, system power's on, and the door's sealed. Can't open. The traditional semi-tool process is rinse, dry one, dry two. Dry one is a high RPM dry to sling the water off of the cassette, wafers, and rotor. Dry two is elongated dry, and it's used more. You still have some typical force of the spinning, but you have heater blankets and hot end two uh, for a longer duration to dry everything. Just for my reference, we have about 60 seconds left on dry one and dry two will be about 210 seconds. When we go down to dry two, I'll go ahead and talk more about our company and what we offer and what we supply. If uh, Caitlin wants, you can see um, we're kind of busy in our final test area if she wants to pan out. We've got a 4300 we just refurbished for a customer. This is another customer's tool that they sent in for repair. We replaced the door. Here's a uh, system that's going over to Europe that's coming in a final test. Uh, here is another system that uh, a customer sent us to repair. And what's really nice is here, this is, excuse me, this one, this was a traditional ST unit. Uh, we were able, the customer wanted to upgrade the technology of a controller. So our, uh, our new SciTech state-of-the-art uh, test screen controller never worked with the STs. It used the F and the S model. We've upgraded this ST to uh, have the correct uh, parts needed to run like an F model and, and the customer purchased our new state-of-the-art controller and upgraded their tool and this will be the first tool ever that's been upgraded from an ST to the SciTech state-of-the-art controller for reference. We're really happy about that. Okay, we're moving into dry two now. As you saw, the RPM slowed down. While we're doing this, I'll do a quick review of what we have to offer. If you go to our uh, SciTechProcess.com website, you'll see a variety of buttons on the left-hand side. The first seven are all semi-tool related. The first three are the Richard dryers. This is a traditional ST. This is an, F mo an S model in SAM. And then uh, the tools I showed you, the double stack is an S. We offer all three versions. All, we, we have uh, any wafer size the customer needs. We would do complete reconfiguration tools, so it doesn't matter to us. The next three buttons are all the spare parts for the three exact systems, S, T, S, and F. And the uh, seventh button is a lot of the uh, semi-tool SST and WST spares. Uh, if you go down further, you'll see we do a lot of other front-end pro process equipment. Recently, we just had an order for, well, we have three orders for box washers. Those are the big Integris 8,000 8, uh, box washers. Uh, we, have, we just received an order for a YES uh, 6112 vapor prime oven. We just had multiple photoresist pumps coming for repair. Uh, we have recently just sold a yesterday and a one-day shipment a um, uh, uh, decked uh, Vico uh, four-point probe system. So we're quite diverse in what we do. And we actually sold a microscope yesterday too. So as you can see, we're a quite diverse company. Our semi-tool product line is 80% of our corporate business. It's we are the US leaders and we believe we're becoming the world leaders on remanufacturing these tools. 
and we definitely are the US leader in non-OEM spare parts. On all three versions of the rinser dryers, we have 100% spare parts on our website. Anything you need can be purchased brand new from SciTech, and if necessary, uh, depending on budget constraints, we can also refurbish uh, your parts. We offer brand new amps that SciTech has manufactured. We, re we do the repair amps. Uh, those are the automotive control amps. We have new brushless motors. We have new controllers. We have new HDR valves, new heater blankets. Everything and everything on the tool is new. So much time we have left. Okay, about a minute left. So I'll kind of review now why this is going slow, our remanufacturing process. So what we do at SciTech is when a tool comes in, it's evaluated. Uh, when a customer's tool comes in, it's evaluated. We uh, run it through, find out if there's any defects that are not covered under our, our normal refurbishment uh, process. Uh, we then uh, report back to the customer what those are, if necessary, to update the PO. We then do a dry build on the floor, which the machine's completely broken down to the base frame, all the way down to the bare metal. We do a complete reprocess of the bowl, rebuild of the motors, etc. Uh, we have a very detailed uh, remanufacturing uh, form we give customers. We build it up in dry test. It goes through two quality control checks. If it passes, it comes into wet test, uh, and it goes through uh, a DI put to it, make sure there's no leaks. It goes through a quality control in here. Once it has 50 process runs, it's turned over to sales. Normally, the system is in poly, something like this. But because it's a customer's tool, they took it out of the poly, and it's an ST, just sent us the head. In a normal system that we sell, it'd be put back in the poly, and the final test would be in, the, in, the, in, the, in this configuration. Like in this case, this customer's a high-profile um, high 8-inch system. Again, it has the new SciTech state-of-the-art touchscreen controller. Right now, about 80% of our orders are probably anywhere from 10 to 15 a month of rinser dryers that come with uh, upgrading to our new SciTech controller. Um, okay, we'll be ending pretty soon. At the end of the process, there's something back here called the rotor stop positioner. It, uh, it has, it's a cam assembly. It, it'll shoot out and roll against the, uh, the cam, find the flat and upright to what we call home position, and the door will release. The ST has a built-in timer before it releases. The S and F model will release uh, once the RPM goes down to zero. This is about normally a 20 to 30 second uh, time delay. It's hard to tell because the time delay is not when it stops, it's from the end of the process. So if it, winds down faster, it seems like it's a longer time delay compared to a bigger unit that winds down slower. Should be any second now, and I'll be able to hear the door release. You'll see the green light go off in a second too, because that's not the, there it is right there. Alrighty, I can open the door now. I like to first check the substrates. Nice and warm and dry, nice and warm. I like to feel for the hot end too. Right there, I can feel, ooh, it's gonna burn my hand. I feel, uh, feel it uh, burning. So, uh, perfect. So, this will conclude the very simple uh, source inspection of a remanufactured ST260 for a customer. Uh, this customer is a little bit different. They're one of the few customers that can run uh, with a special rotary design six inch wafers in a 260. That's not normally common around the world. Uh, but again, their rotors been out for a free rotor balance, so uh, we're running four inch. If there's any questions, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. You can call our main number at 916-797-9000 and ask for anyone in our sales organization. Thank you. Have a great day.